Hi, I'm the Nature Kid, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants grow in places where the soil is poor in nutrients, such as nitrogen. So because of this, they get nitrogen by catching and eating bugs and other small animals. The Venus flytrap is probably the most famous kind of carnivorous plant. Its leaf looks like a mouth and it catches bugs. On the edge of the trap, the Venus flytrap produces a sweet smell and nectar. But inside the trap, there are six tiny red hairs, three on each side. They are trigger hairs. The inside of the trap is also red, so it can resemble a flower or a piece of meat to attract bees or flies. A black wasp. The wasp enters the trap and begins drinking the sweet nectar secreted on, around the edges of the trap. But little does it know that it is in danger. If it touches either two separate trigger hairs or one trigger hair twice, the trap will close on the wasp. It touched one trigger hair, but this is not enough. It has to touch either the other hair again or another, or another trigger hair. The wasp is feasting on the nectar secreted at the edge of the trap. The wasp will be very lucky if it escapes. The wasp touched a second trigger hair, and the trap closes. There are gaps between the spines, and the trap isn't tightly closed yet to al allow the prey to escape, just in case it's too small to provide nutrition to the plant. But uh, the prey is not too small, so it begins the tightening phase. The trap tightens, and the gaps get to get smaller and smaller. The tightening phase is stimulated because the a bug, as it struggles, brushes against the trigger hairs even more. And the trap closes tighter and tighter. The trap is sealed tight and it begins to release digestive juices to digest the wasp. It is sealed tight to stop the digestive juices from leaking or bacteria from getting into the trap and rotting the dead wasp. But the Venus flytrap is not the only kind of carnivorous plant. This is a sundew plant. It is covered with droplets that look like dew. And they sparkle in the sunlight. 
But these droplets are not dew. They are a trap. They attract bugs, which then get stuck in the glue. These ants are stuck to these droplets on the sundew. As the ant struggles, it just gets more and more stuck. Eventually, the whole sundew leaf will co- will fold over the ants, and the ants will be digested and become food for the plant. Then the sundew leaf will open again, leaving nothing more than a dead ant exoskeleton. But not all carnivorous plants move to catch their prey. This is a pitcher plant. It has a pretty simple trap. It has a pitcher and a lid with downward pointing hairs and nectar. The bugs are attracted to the nectar and then slip on the hairs and fall into the pitcher where they are digested. But what's in the nectar may surprise you. Pitcher plant nectar contains a drug that makes the insects drunk. Similar to a slug beer trap, the bugs drink the nectar and then get drunk, which causes them to fall into the pitcher. A waxy coating on the walls of the pitcher prevents any bugs that aren't drunk from crawling out. But pitcher plants can have some uninvited guests. Spiders will sometimes build their webs in pitcher plants to catch bugs that fall in. But not all pitcher plants catch prey in the same way. This is a Darlingtonia, a type of pitcher plant native to Oregon and California. Unlike other pitcher plants, the Darlingtonia does not have a hole in the top. Instead, it has a hood. The hole is at the bottom of the hood. And the back of the hood is covered in windows. And light shines through the windows. When the bug crawls into the hole and is ready to fly away, it flies toward the light, which is toward the windows. Then the bug crashes and, and falls down to the base of the plant, where it is digested, and it becomes fertilizer for the Darlingtonia plant. But not all carnivorous plants seem carnivorous. This is shepherd's purse, a common weed in in gardens, farms, and on roadsides. But it's not carnivorous in a way you would expect. Its heart-shaped seed pods are filled with tiny seeds. When moist, the seed secretes a substance that attracts tiny bugs in the soil. Then the bugs get stuck. Because like with the sundew, the shepherd's purse seeds get sticky. Then when the seed germinates, the, the, seed ha- the seedling has fertilizer. Because the shepherd's purse is carnivorous but does not produce any kind of digestive enzymes, it would be considered a proto-carnivorous plant. 
It is unknown why the shepherd's purse has evolved carnivorous seeds because it doesn't grow in nutrient-poor environments. It grows in farms and gardens and on roadsides. But then the carnivorous seed becomes a harmless, non-carnivorous shepherd's purse plant that then produces more carnivorous seeds, which become more shepherd's purse plants. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe for more Nature Kid videos. Bye!